I didn't want to do it. Actually, the first time was a punishment. I don't remember what I had done, but I do remember my dad telling me that I had to help my mom make tortillas. I knew how from watching my mom and my grandma make them back when we lived in Mexico when I was younger. As soon as I touched the masa, I started thinking about my grandpa grinding corn at a rancho. I remember when I was around five and it was a hot summer day and school was out for two whole months. We would go up to my mom's hometown in the rancho where we would stay for about a month. It was a long bus trip from the city, but when we got to a rancho, it was so much fun running around with my primas and primos. When we would stay at my grandma, she would cook pozole and birria and always, always fresh tortillas. My grandparents' house was right across the street from Tortilleria. In the morning, I lay in bed and I could hear my grandma and other women from El Rancho waking up early, gathering their baskets, and going up to the field to pick out the corn that was ready. Then they would get back to El Rancho around 6 a.m. And my grandpa would go open the corn factory and cut the corn and grind it up and make it into masa. I hardly ever got to see my grandpa, I guess because he was always busy working. But every time I came down to El Rancho, he would wake me up and I would go with him to the corn factory and gather the corn and put it in the grinder and put the masa into plastic bags. And all this time, he would tell me stories about the corn and my antepasados and how it would be horrible if corn was to ever disappear. But I just wonder if he was going to give me a peso or two for some candy. I never really paid attention. I was just a kid. We moved to the U.S. when I was seven. I haven't ever gone back since. Here, there's corn everywhere, but here it's the corn syrup that's in all the junk food. Or it's the packed tortillas that they sell at the supermarkets. It's not the same. But as soon as I put my hands in the masa with my stepmom, I realized what my grandpa meant back in the tortilleria, that people depended on him, and that if he didn't make the masa for the tortillas, then it wouldn't just be the tortillas that would be gone, that our traditions would also be gone. This much I know. If the tortilla is good, it puffs up, and if it's not good, it doesn't. The first tortilla I ever made there in the kitchen with my stepmom puffed up really big, and I looked up, and she was smiling. And it wasn't a punishment anymore. Mm-hmm.